Welcome everybody, AMF1534 here and welcome to the boss fight extravaganza. Previously we got ourselves the scimitar of decapitation from the gnarled branches in the forest realm, and now we're going to put it to use here against the old chimera. What does it do, you ask? Well, it does pretty much what any other sword would do and totally kick the shit out of anybody. It's going to cut your fucking head off! Ah. So yes, it will make this fight tons and tons easier. While still being quite difficult in itself, it becomes much, much easier. Because the scimitar will actually fully take out one of the full entities. The one in the middle, which actually makes this a lot easier because... He made that part so much, so much harder. You'll have to pardon the crazy-ass lag spike action going on right now. But I am trying my best. And then directly after we finish this, we're going to go have our date with the Spider Queen and make her life a living hell. Why? Because we can, and because we must. Because we unlocked the Egyptian or the desert, the desert lands, and we need to go have our have our time in there. I really hope that I survive through here. Wow, he takes a lot of damage now. Yeah, <laughs> owie. This is one of those times I really wish I had a three-way shot. You know, this is like literally exactly what they had in mind when they thought of three-way shot. Just gotta keep on dodging. Stick and move, stick and move. Yes, you're dead and you're not doing anything. You're just taking it because you know the impending doom is on the horizon. Oh my god, I'm falling off the side! Ah! Yes. And recovered his shard. You have found the one runestone from this realm. Alright, so that took me a whopping 2 minutes and 45 seconds. I expected that to be just a wee bit harder, but I was sadly mistaken. Alright, so first off, let's load up on health. Because we need health for this. I think that'll be enough. Then we can buy two stat points with it. So let's get some strength. And let's get some armor. And now we will be safe. And good to go for number two. And now this place is finished. And away we go. Gosh, I'm so excited to do the do the desert lands, that's actually one of my favorite places. And home of one of the most ridiculous encounters ever too, because there's a spot, I don't remember which level out of out of there it is, but there's one part where you, you just... What the hell? I don't really know what just happened there. Oh, no, I do know what happened there. But it's not important at all. But yeah, there's a part in one of the desert lands um, levels where you're like going up the up like the state like down the stairs of a pyramid or something like that and it's just loaded with people it's literally just like a giant wave of people experience galore nonetheless but holy crap hottie what Ugh, gross looks like one of my old library teachers or one of my old librarians all right here we go Let's get some more health first, and, and let's begin. Alright. Yeah. Definitely, if at all possible, stay as far away from her as you can, because she can inflict pretty solid amounts of damage on you if she gets close to you. And that'll actually come in handy, because there's a speed boost here. Whoa! 
Ah! See what I'm talking about? God, what a bitch. And she spits things. Not, she's not a swallower, definitely. I, it's become quite apparent. Oh! Uh, I can't get away. Uh, shooting you right in the ass. Ouch. Yeah, her uh, her little her little uh, bramble whip isn't isn't exactly very forgiving. Ooh, wow, that took a lot of health out of her. Has gained a level. She just did like the moonwalk. She was like gliding backwards. That was pretty crazy. So yes, the the technique for this is just stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. Which a lot of her movements are based off of being in one set area. Ah! Unless she does that charge thing of hers. If she does that, then that's that's an issue. But like I said, she's really not that hard. It's just that she does she does have a lot of life. She's quite the uh, quite the formidable little little bugger. Oh boy. And she's a black widow too, so that's even more awesome. Yep. Come on, come on. Boom! Yes! Oh wow, that inflicted very, very large amounts of damage. And she's almost dead, holy shit! I like how the uh, the webbing in the sp in the uh or like the middle of this web is actually a star. Kind of weird. It's almost like something you'd expect to see in like a Mario game. Ah, oh, you're dead. And I did not fall through the bottom of that. That's really weird. Lots and lots of gold. She's Spider Queen and recovered her shard and got 11,000 gold. Well, that's nice. I'm glad I was able to find the one runestone from that realm, on top of getting an absolute shit ton of gold. Green, Green Archer has gained a level. Looking quite balanced here. Our speed's actually not too far away from being maxed out. Okay, let's keep it there, and let's do some stat building. So, two for strength, two for armor. Two for magic. One more for strength. Another for magic. And then we'll blow it on some more health. How about that, huh? So now we have over 700 strength. We're going to be mowing bitches down here pretty soon. And now we need to go venture over to the desert land zone, which I can't quite remember where it is. I'm pretty sure it's probably in the east wing, since we did just unlock that. But we'll just make sure. Congratulations! Okay, recover the shard for the forest realm. That window's looking closer and closer to being full every time, you know. Continue now on your quest to recover all eight shards that restore the entrance to, to the desecrated temple. And away we go. Man, we're almost at level 50 already. How about that? That's crazy. Never in a million years would I have imagined. So what's at the end of this? Is this... Ooh, a bridge. Lower the bridge! I have big news from London! Let's see. Oh, that's... Oh boy, that's the craziest place in this game. That is the land of nightmares. Everything that one would hate about the world. That's the ice place, which we're going to be going there remotely soon as well. Here we go. This is where we're going to be. This is where it's all going to go down. So let's actually start up the first level just so you can get a light view of what it's going to be here. You are now entering city ruins. Yes. It's exactly what it looks like. Little little midget dudes with sand swords walking around. 
wishing harm upon me in my life. And so, let's begin. And yes, in case you... Wow! Did not expect that. Kind of caught me off guard there for a moment. Anyways. Um, is this what it's going to be like? Always, obvi it's obviously Egyptian themed in case we couldn't really get that one down in our mind. So, it's going to be f it's going to be a fun journey, everybody. So, stick with me, your host AMF, as we uncover the secrets of this place. But until then, or until next time, this is AMF 1534 signing out.